There is no denying that Miami is hot right now. And I'm not just talking about the temperature. The city is going through a period of unprecedented growth. People are flocking in droves, enticed by the warm weather, luxurious lifestyle, and low taxes. Corporations are also taking advantage of the opportunities, with a large number of financial firms, tech companies, and startups relocating as well. Experts are calling Miami the new Wall Street, and even more fittingly, Wall Street of the South. But while many seem optimistic and excited about this boom of growth, there are a number of downsides that the city is experiencing. As a result of the influx of new residents moving in, many of them being high earners from out of state, rent is skyrocketing, with no sign of stopping anytime soon. Many long-time residents are being pushed farther and farther into the suburbs and surrounding areas, while developers start to break ground on a variety of new state-of-the-art luxury skyscrapers to cater to the huge number of new wealthy residents and businesses. While everything might seem like sunshine and rainbows in the tropical city, the reality is that Miami is at a critical tipping point. The effects of climate change have been felt for decades. The city sits right at sea level and climate experts say that Miami will be one of the first major cities to experience the devastating effects of human-caused climate change. Current climate models predict that the sea will be two feet higher or more by the year 2060. With the impact of climate change being inevitable, Miami's economy being based on waterfront real estate, on top of all the new people and companies setting up shop, what's really in store for Miami's future? In 2021, following the pandemic, Florida saw a huge population increase, the second biggest in the entire country. But Miami's current huge migration actually began during the pandemic in 2020, as people became attracted to Florida's lack of restrictions, unlike the rest of the country. This caused many people to come and set up temporary lockdown retreats in Miami. Companies followed suit with a huge number from Silicon Valley to the real estate sector and pretty much every other industry moving into the Miami area. Miami is poised to become a global entity in the finance and tech industries. Moreover, the city is seen as being the gateway to Latin America, a seemingly still untapped market for many American companies and startups. CEOs are not shy about the potential for growth that they hope Miami will bring. We can see that even with the looming effects of climate change and sea level rise, the city is determined to take advantage of the current boom. In fact, Miami is seeing the biggest high-rise construction boom in history, with nine skyscrapers in the works. These include One Brickell Center. This building will be a 1,040-foot tall office tower in the Brickell Center development. The tower is slated to begin building in 2023, and once completed, it will be the tallest building in Miami and the tallest building in the entire Southeast United States, surpassing Bank of America Plaza in Atlanta. The building will primarily consist of offices and hotel space, but also will include a retail mall, condominiums, and a parking garage on the lower levels, as well as possibly an observation deck at the top. The most polarizing and interesting of all of these has to be the Waldorf Astoria residences. As you can see, the building will feature a very unique design resembling a stack of gigantic glass cubes. The building will also feature 360 residential condos and 205 luxurious hotel rooms and suites. There will be, of course, any and every fancy amenity that you can think of, including incredible restaurants and the best views in all of Miami. But while all this luxuriousness is great for Miami's wealthy natives and transplants, what about the non-wealthy locals? You would think that with all the new real estate development and companies, this would be great for the local economy. But it seems the situation could be actually hurting more than it's helping. Rent has gone up nearly 50% over the last year, one of the highest increases in the entire country. And not only are people having to move farther and farther out, but the sheer number of people is causing highways and roads to become even more congested, therefore making commutes even harder for those already affected. We've seen this story so many times before. Cities in pursuit of economic growth and expansion that seemingly ignore the brutal realities of growing too fast. Is Miami just a victim of too much too soon? Or are they just focused on the wrong thing too soon? As we mentioned earlier, the city is at a critical tipping point, but its officials have proposed a plan. 
Last year, the city released the Miami-Dade County Sea Level Rise Strategy, an optimistic plan focused on elevating homes and roads, more construction farther inland, and creating more open space for flooding in low-lying areas. Officials appear to be downplaying the whole situation and even painted the sea level rise as mostly manageable. No big deal, right? But climate experts warn that the threat is much greater than the county is portraying and that developers and residents need to be warned about the risks of continuing to build waterfront real estate. There's no surprise that officials would want to reassure investors and developers that there's nothing to worry about, especially with billions on the line and even billions more in economic growth that will come over time. But the truth is that the one thing that Miami needs to do is probably the very thing that officials won't allow to happen. And that's to start pushing development and people farther inland. The county's plan is a best case scenario, and more than likely their efforts will not be enough, especially when you bring mother nature into the picture. Florida is a hot spot for storms and hurricanes nearly every year, 2022's Hurricane Ian caused over $40 billion of damage, making it the state's costliest storm. Unfortunately, each year these storms will probably continue to get worse and worse, with insurance companies becoming more unwilling to insure in the state due to predictably worse weather every year, Miami is becoming more and more expensive. And not just Miami as a whole, but even the historically undesirable areas of Miami. Because where do you run when the sea is rising and a storm is brewing down below? To higher ground. Little Haiti, a historically black poor neighborhood in Miami, is experiencing a gentrification problem. Due to the inevitable sea level rise on the waterfront, developers have found a solution by setting their sights on Little Haiti's elevated position in the city. Little Haiti is built on Miami Rock Ridge, a limestone deposit that was formed 130,000 years ago on Florida's eastern coast. It is some of the highest real estate in all of Miami, sitting seven to 14 feet above sea level. And developers have started taking advantage of its potential. Magic City Innovation District will be a 15 acre little city made up of 2,630 apartment units, 432 hotel rooms, 2.7 million square feet of retail and office space, and 120,000 square feet of exposition space. The area was previously zoned for a small industrial and residential development, but interestingly enough, the property received a huge upzoning from the Miami City Commission in June of 2019. We can't help but wonder, what will all this mean for Miami? A city booming with technological and economic expansion while also battling the dire consequences of human-caused climate crisis. Can Miami reach the skyscraper heights it aspires to? Or will they find themselves in deep water, literally? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time here on Mythical Modern.